In this tutorial, we will be learning about one of the most important concepts in MATLAB and that is how to make use of the colon. This is very useful and you will be using it quite a lot, especially when you intend to select some subset or portion of the matrix to perform certain operations on top of that. To me, this tutorial or lecture is one of the most important lecture in the course and I will suggest that you cover it twice if you get a feeling that you may have not grasped all the stuff in this lecture 100%. So with this note, let's start learning the colon operator. The colon is basically used to generate some numbers. So when we mention two positive numbers before and after the colon, then in that case the MATLAB is going to generate numbers starting from the number on the left and going all the way to the number on the right. We can see that numbers are being generated from 1 to 5 while including both 1 and 5. Another way of generating numbers with colon is by mentioning what is called step size. The step size is mentioned between the starting and ending number with an additional colon. In this case, the step size is 2. It is now going to generate numbers from 1 to 10, but with a step size of 2. This means that it will first display a value of 1, and then it will skip one value, and then display a value of 3, and then it will skip 4, and then display 5, and so on. After the 9, the value of 9, the next number is greater than 10, which is our upper limit, therefore it is not being displayed. If we want to generate the numbers having negative range, so that is also possible. We need to identify suitable range and step size, so for instance we want to generate numbers between minus 100 and minus 90 with a step size of 2. So this is going to generate a date for us. We can also display numbers in descending order. For that, we can mention a higher value here in the first place and then a step size which has to be negative since we are going from a higher value to a lower value and then the lower value which is zero in this case. Now it will generate numbers starting from 10 and then it will go descending order up to a value of zero with a step size of minus two, right? So this will generate numbers from 10 to zero with a step size of minus two and going in descending order. So both the options are open and you can use the one which suits your needs the most. Let us look at some more examples and uses of the colon. Let us suppose I create a matrix containing 10 random values. We will discuss the range function later on, so don't worry about that. Let us make it a little bigger and say 10 cross 10. So now we have some data which is stored in variable x. Let us suppose we want to select the first three rows corresponding to all columns of the matrix stored in x. This can be done with the help of, with the, help of the colon. Please note that the first values inside the smooth parentheses before the comma corresponds to the rows and the second value corresponds to the column. So in this case we need to write 1 to 3 and then comma and since we want to select all the columns so we will say only colon without mentioning the starting and ending values. A colon without starting and ending values means for all, that is for all values. So it means all columns in this case. It is very important point and you should take a good note of that. So if we execute this now, it will return us the first three rows corresponding to all the columns. So now you may have noticed that only the first three rows have been displayed. Similarly, we can do other interesting manipulations. For example, we want to say I may want to select the alternate rows. For instance, I want to select first row and then I want to skip one row and then I want to select the third row and so on and I want to do it till the ending row. So the reserve word of AND will be used to highlight that the operation or pattern should be followed till the ending row. 
we can confirm that it is selecting the alternate rows in this case. You may notice that the first row is selected which starts with a value of 0 0.9619 and then the third row is selecting containing the first element of 0 0.7749 and then the row containing 0 0.86 is selected and so on. This example would have given you an intuition regarding the strength of the colon in MATLAB. That is, we can use it to select different subsets or portions of the data. And similarly, we can use it to select different columns from the data. It is going to be very helpful in manipulation of the matrices and we will use it quite regularly throughout the course. Try to familiarize yourself with this as this is going to be very critical in the overall use of the MATLAB software. I hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial as well. See you again with more interesting stuff and until then, enjoy MATLAB!